This is going to be a tutorial on how to record guitar directly into your DAW without an amplifier. The first thing that you will need, of course, is a guitar. You will also need a standard quarter inch instrument cable and a computer with a DAW preloaded. This DAW, of course, can be GarageBand or Logic or Pro Tools or anything that you would like to record with. Uh, some audio interfaces actually even come with a DAW. You'll also need an audio interface. This can be a USB or Firewire uh, dedicated interface. And you're also going to need some uh, good quality headphones. I recommend spending more than you think you should on some high quality studio headphones if you plan to do this a lot. The audio interface that you see here is an inexpensive one from Line 6, but it came with their guitar simulation software called Podfarm, which I like a lot. That's the last piece that you'll need in order to make your guitar sound like what you think it should within your DAW. If your computer has a line in and uh, built-in digital to analog conversion as this Mac does, you can also use a preamp as your audio interface, in which case you'll need a second instrument cable and a quarter inch to eighth inch adapter. Okay, let's hook it up. We're going to start with the dedicated audio interface, which is USB connected. You'll see I already have my DAW open, and it's going to detect this interface uh, right when I plug it in. Next, we're going to plug in the guitar with our quarter inch TS instrument cable. This is a mono cable. And the other end, of course, goes into the audio interface. If you're going to use a preamp as your input, you're going to need that second instrument cable and the quarter inch to eighth inch mono adapter. Remember, instrument signals are mono signals. And we put that into our line in. Then we're going to set up our preamp. Um, I like a preamp because it gives a nice uh, analog sounding signal. Uh, although it can institute a little more delay if you're not careful. We're going to add this cable to the output of the tube preamp, and then we're going to plug our guitar into the input of the tube preamp. So we have some important settings to change within our DAW. The first is to make sure that we have software monitoring on, otherwise you're not going to be able to hear the signal uh, through your computer output. The next is to make sure you have the correct input device selected. In this case we have the preamp, so we're going to do the built-in input, which is the line in, and then we're going to select low latency mode. Now low latency mode is what uh, is going to disable certain plugins that cause a um, latency in your signal so that it sounds a little off, so we don't want that while we're recording. The last thing of course is to arm the track so that the input is selected. And you can see the signal as uh, I'm testing to see that it's going through the correct input and output. And I'm going to test a recording here. You can see the waveform of the recording as the guitar plays. And I stop it at the end. Now, the beauty of recording direct is not just so that you don't wake your neighbors, but also uh, because with this guitar simulator program, you can change after you recorded it. Uh, the amplifier or the cabinet or the microphone placement without having to get all that gear out and set it back up again and tune it uh, pretty much exactly to your taste. So now we're going to switch audio interfaces. I plugged in the GX, uh, told the computer to use it, and we're going to go select that as our input. GX. Make sure software monitoring is on. Apply changes so it reloads the audio and then everything else is the same. We arm our track for recording. In this case we hit the I for input and start playing. Thanks for watching. Next time I'll make sure that my screen capture program actually records the audio from the signal.